I'm delighted to be here to announce this year's winners of the awards. The award uh, has a special meaning for me and my family. As Joyce mentioned, my, my father is the publisher of El Periódico in Guatemala. In 2003, he and members of my family were viciously attacked in our home. The attackers were trying to intimidate him into stopping the paper's investigative reporting. I myself was beaten and both witnessed and experienced as my whole family laid on the ground, tied up with guns to our heads, while the, inva the invaders simulated my father's execution. We knew that if they killed him, we were next. We were all sure we were going to die. Uh, but my father never gave in. And to this day, El Periódico is fearless when it comes to reporting the news honestly and fairly, even though it still faces aggression in all its possible forms. By giving this honor to my father, ICFJ recognized his dedication to bringing the news to the Guatemalan people, despite the risk involved. The Night International Journalism Awards validated all the sacrifices he made in the name of quality journalism. In my eyes, these awards are invaluable, not only because they honor the journalists who bring their communities the news and information they need despite the overwhelming odds, journalists face, facing uh, commercial boycotts, raids, fiscal terrorism, public defamation campaigns, litigation and assassinations, but also because also and mo most importantly, because they represent international support that allows journalists to pursue the fair, accurate, and contextual search for the truth. The 2013 Night International Journalism Award winners are Roman Anin, an investigative reporter for Russia's Novaya Gazeta, and Umar Chima, a journalist known for courageous mock-racking reports in Pakistan's largest English language daily, The News. Four of Anin's colleagues at Novaya Gazeta have been murdered in the last decade, but he continues to investigate and document high-level corruption in Russia. Shima has founded the Center for Investigative Reporting in Pakistan, a country where reporters are routinely harassed, attacked, and murdered. He had been a major force in investigative journalism even before he was kidnapped and brutally tortured in 2010. I was just blown away by Roman Anin and the kind of journalism he's already accomplishing. This young man has already done in his career in journalism what many of us dream of doing our entire careers. He's written a story that has exposed corruption and brought down the powerful. But more than that, it literally was the rock thrown into the pond. It continues to ripple out and continues to bring to light more and more wrongdoing. In terms of the different candidates, one of the ones that really stood out to me was Umar um, from Pakistan. I just thought it was really inspiring that he's continued on um, in, this, in the face of adversity and persecution and the fact that he actually has created a center for reporting in Pakistan for the next generation of journalists. That was something that really stood out to me.